Today I show you how to install a custom launcher for your Android phone. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 phone and it's using the Xperia launcher but I can use any other launcher. And also this one has this option for the Google Discover to show when you swipe right. On the left side here it will show some articles which are usually pretty much clickbait. And if I want to try another launcher, first I want to try and see what launchers there are available on this phone. And you search for launcher. And you see when you search for launcher, you will get the option default home app. Now Xperia Home is the only launcher because that's the only one installed. But you can easily fix that. You go to the Play Store. You can search for search for launcher in the play store and there are a lot of options a lot of them but i want to try the microsoft launcher it has a lot of downloads i guess some preview of how it would work you can always switch between them so it's not a big deal you can try one launcher and then try another one if you don't like it and then I saw something about the Nova launcher that would, that would be interesting to try. Some of them are even paid, so I don't know. Maybe you have some really increased productivity options for the like launcher prime. So I think it's installed. Let's open the Nova launcher. Okay, it's, it's asking me to configure the icon size. I think this is okay. Around or square, maybe like that. I don't know. I think the defaults are okay, kind of. Let's try. Yeah, okay, so this is the launcher. I don't know, it looks okay. Not very spectacular. <laughs> Okay, so I have them here and I can open them independently. And this is the Nova launcher. I don't know, I think I like the, the Xperia one more. You can customize it, but it doesn't have the swipe left option. It has the swipe up. Swipe down is the same as the Android options, so I don't know. Let's try the Microsoft Launcher. Let's set it up Microsoft Launcher. Get started. I don't know why it needs to send me notifications and... Okay, current wallpaper. Okay. You have to sign in to use this thing. Let's keep it. Okay. Oh, did I agree? Did I agree to this by mistake? I think I pressed OK by mistake there. Can I go back? Don't know what's that. I will say later don't show again. Ah, this looks more interesting. I like the clock. It's very similar to the Xperia launcher. Oh, and you have Copilot. You can have Copilot, a glance Copilot and news. I think other than Copilot, there is not much usefulness there.
there you will see more if you yeah so i think from these ones the actually the microsoft launcher looks nicer than the nova launcher but maybe it's only because i didn't really look at them too much and uh, i can change wallpapers okay it gives you an ad for all the microsoft apps yeah it actually changed the wallpaper on my whole phone now so i have to go and change it back okay set wallpaper both of them okay i prefer the default the default option and with the with this option this can be disabled easily from here home settings show google app on swipe and you don't see that anymore so i think this is the default launcher is good enough for me <laughs> thanks for watching but this is how you you can ah and you can actually do the switch so you can you can make the the launcher the default home app you can switch between them so I can make the Microsoft Launcher the default home app and now I cannot go to the Xperia Launcher it's always the Microsoft one now I can't go to the Xperia Launcher I have to I always go to the Microsoft one so so you're trying to get everything contacts harder to get to settings for this okay so i put it back now default home app oh no default home app xperia home i leave it like this but you can use anything you like and this is how you go back you find the settings up and you go back to the default home and then you choose the ones you prefer thanks for watching